Welcome back. This is the Jazon Boxing Show. I go by the name of Ak. And I'm Barack the Boxing Bully. I'm excited to be here. Thanks for joining us. Big, big fight announcement. The Problem Child is back against a rival. That's right. These guys don't like each other, even though they haven't fought, but there's still a rivalry there. Nate Diaz. So we'll get into that right now in the opening bell. Look, Barack, these dudes don't like each other. It's clear, right? Jake has been wanting to fight Nate. Nate's been wanting to fight Jake. Um, it hadn't happened up to this point. American Airlines Arena. So they're expecting a big, huge crowd. And this is pay-per-view distributed by the zone. This is an interesting fight to me, Barack. Yeah. Um, I think it's smart. I think it's a genius for, for Jake to do this because you just got beat by Tommy Fury. You know, a boxer uh, uh, with limited experience maybe even limited skills probably only had eight fights so who else in the boxing world could you have stepped up if it's not a rematch with, with tommy fury who else could you have fought to, to, to make our interest say hmm maybe he could beat this guy so what you do is you go back to the mma world you done beat a, a few mma greats already three uh to be exact and you I, I, go back to the MMA world, somebody who you got a little rivalry against, somebody who, who is an icon in the sport, you know, 17 year career professionally. And it just makes sense. And now you can say, okay, well, he beat those other MMA guys, even somebody like Anderson Silva, who's a skillful boxer. Now let's see if he could beat this guy who's been training with Andre Ward. Remember years ago, Andre Ward was like, I, I sparred with the Diaz brothers. Those guys can box. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, that says a lot about Jake. Look, after that loss against Tommy, a lot was said. It didn't deter him from the sport. Uh, he doubled back with even a bigger fight, in my opinion, against Nate Diaz. And look, Nate is still a threat. The dude's been in the combat sports world for so long. And to your point, you just mentioned he had hands. And guys like Andre Ward saying that you have to respect it and believe it. So Jake believes in himself. And he's obviously showing that he's, he's bigger than than the loss against Tommy. He's still gonna generate a crowd of maybe 20,000 people, Barack. I mean, he's been filling the ratings. I, I was in Tampa, he put over 20,000 people in that stadium against Tyron Woodley. I would say that Jake has been great for boxing and he's continuing, him and, and, and uh, Nikisa and most value promotions are making great smart decisions for his career, this being one of them. Well, we just gotta see how he bounces back from a loss and I'm not talking about um, skillfully or, his, or physically, I'm talking about how his um, star power. Star, yeah, his star power. Like, is he still going to be that kind of a draw? You know, with him versus Fury is a pretty big fight. They were both undefeated, did over 800,000 buys supposedly on pay per view. You know, can he still do that? Can he put 20,000 people in the stands? You know, and I just say, at least on paper, this fight makes more sense because you know he before all of this they were like oh you got to fight a boxer because you you could beat all of these mma guys so if they still feel that way then they say that he has a chance and at the same time this particular mma guy can box as well he has some hands um, when you get that andre ward stamp it could probably go a long way so i just think this is a good fight um but this is a must win situation for Jake because if you lose you already lost in the boxing world you know to a, a guy with limited experience now if you lose to a guy in the MMA world where do you where do you go from there you yeah, know no, so that, you. that's that's pretty tough it's going to be hard to rebound not to say that you can't rebound but you're already somebody who fights on pay-per-view straight out the gate you know so now where do you go on, that, on another card I mean, or somebody's fight listen I, I guess that that, that's a statement on how, how much confidence he has in himself. He yeah. knows how important his fight is, and he's fighting a guy like Nate Diaz. So he does believe in himself. And I'm pretty sure he's heard whispers around like, hey, this is a must-win fight, especially if we're going to continue this journey of these type of fights with you. I think he wants to redeem himself from the loss to Tommy, maybe down the line rematch Tommy at some point. Mm -hmm. But I like this shift and pivot and fighting a guy like Nate. If he wins and wins big, He's back in a great position, so I'm looking forward to this one. August 5th, live on pay-per-view, on the zone globally. Uh, I'm ready for it. Something else I'm ready for, Barack, is him fighting in the PFL. Look, obviously it's going to be late 2023, uh, early 2024, but that's, you know, he has time to focus on this training camp. Look, he comes from a wrestling background. He has wrestling. I'm, I love the fact that he's confident enough 
to go into the PFL and, you know, do some MMA against somebody. But this right here, maybe this is like a, a, a practice run. Look, Jake is an MMA fighter. Even though they're going to be boxing in a ring, Nate has, he's coming from that MMA world, that UFC world. So I think it's good experience to get him ready for the PFL because of the stance and the style. You know, a lot of guys, they discredit uh, Jake Paul. And I understand if you discredit him because of the things he's said and done, you know, talking about Canelo, I'm gonna beat Canelo and all this other stuff, or maybe even negative things he said about other people outside of the ring. But I don't even look at that. I only look at, about, look at what you do inside the ring and, you know, what you're willing to do. And, and I feel like there's Nate Diaz as a scary guy to most people probably in this world, you know, mm -hmm. and for him to get, have the guts to get in a ring with him, that's enough for me. Uh, yeah. I'm not expecting Jake, this, this, Jake has his own lane. I'm not including him in talks with Canelo, except telling him, stop talking about Canelo. <laughs> I'm not including him with anybody over here on this side at the moment, no way. He has his own lane. So I'm able to talk about Jake Paul in his own world. And in yeah. that world, he's inviting killers from the MMA world into the ring and he's been dispatching them or beating them handily and this is another one and I just think that it takes a lot of courage and that's one thing you can't take away from him remember can't after his it. loss no you can't question it uh, remember after his loss he said to Tommy Fury he said you know I've already accomplished more than I've ever dreamed like I, he went further than he even expected you know so to, to do that to lose and to still have the courage to come back to fight another great fighter that, that, that says a lot to me, you know? Uh, I'm, I'm separating him from the boxing world at this time, you know? Yeah, and that's how I'm and, able and, to and appreciate with, what he's doing. But with that being said, you still have to respect who he's fighting. I, and I know you do, Barack, what I'm saying, for those yeah. that say, oh, you know, for those that kept running with that, oh, fight a boxer, fight a boxer. Look, he's fighting real fighters. He's not experienced. He's only been boxing for two right. years. He's not a boxer neither. So, you know, if, if that's the case, you if, you're, if, you, if you're saying that, if you're saying that Anderson Silva wasn't a boxer, then Jake is not a boxer neither. You know, because yeah. Anderson Silva had more experience in boxing than Jake. Than Jake, than Jake Paul, and he you know, so him more him. years in the gym than Jake. And you that, know, so uh, and, and, you don't and get to decide who's a boxer. Whoever signs, whoever signs up to fight and, and goes through the medical and get a license, uh, sad to say. They're boxers, no matter how bad they are. But, no question but, about it. And, and look, Rock, experience plays a major part in combat sports. I mean, talk about a guy who's been in big, massive fights like Nate Diaz with sold-out crowds with all the attention, and we know Jake gets attention. He's fighting a guy that's been in big fights. There's something yes. about being in big fights and, and, and that experience. Two fights with McGregor, and, Don, yeah. Donald Cerrone, like he, Masvidal, like, oh my God. This Ma guy. Ma massive the, fights. The, 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 the Crowds mean nothing to him, probably. <laughs> he's yeah, just gonna, no he's gonna go in there, you know, mentally so focused. With, with, with all that being said, this is a massive fight. This is a big risk. A lot of heart Jake needs to have in order to accept this. Uh, so kudos to him. And Nate, he's been out for a while. Look, you gotta give him some credit. Obviously, this is a fight that it, it could be very lucrative for him, but he's fighting a young guy in, in Jake, who obviously shown that he can punch. He's knocked. MMA legends out like Tyron Woodley and, and beat Anderson Silva. So there's a threat there on that side too. So credit to both guys. But a guy like Jake who who has very little experience in combat sports to accept the fight of this magnitude, you got to give him credit. I'm excited for it. It's going to be again, once again, the zone uh, globally on pay-per-view and all cable providers. So you don't want to miss this one. Absolutely. That's our show for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace and love. Stay safe. We're out of here.